I was in Hangzhou when the Great Leap Forward started. And uh, I remember the, suddenly the, the news that, uh, of the Great Leap Forward and all the people on the street and everybody talking in the, in the little inn I was, everybody was talking about this, this uh, Diogen. And then when I came back on the train, everybody in the train was talking about this. And so when I got back to the farm, everyone was planning what they're going to do for, for every, every person in their own work, what were they going to contribute to this great leap forward. And in the meantime, we made this whole, we set up the whole refrigeration system. In our farm, we had been, see, it was 55, 56, 57. This, because we had such, uh, we had a high temperature of the groundwater, about 18 degrees in the summer, we had mule cars that took the milk into the city, at least a three-hour ride by mules. Well, and in muddy weather it would be more. And it was a, a mud road when it rained. It was just, you know, that lost soil when it gets mud on it. It's, it's impossible. The, the mules just dragged the milk into the city at, and at midnight or when, at night when they went. And we had a milk station in the city. <clears throat> Well, of course, under these conditions, we didn't have any electricity. By 1958, we didn't have any electricity. And uh, no road, no paved road, just a dirt road that goes through the loss. And, and when it rains, that mud just sticks like glue to everything. Uh, so under these conditions, not to spoil one caddy of milk was a tremendous challenge to all the workers of the farm. But we'd had experience with spoiling milk, so we knew that the main thing was sanitation and temperature and time. Well, we had this one little gasoline motor. I'll never forget, the middle of the night, the gasoline motor won't start. Liu Guijing knocks on the doors, the motor won't start, the milk's going to spoil. We get, Sid and I get up and we, how are we going to get this gasoline motor to start? We go over to Chambu and we get one of the <coughs> people out of the bed there who knows about engines and get on our bikes and we get them to come back and we work on that little gas motor, take it apart, put it together and Sid's sweating and I'm sweating and Liu Guixing is calm as anything. <laughs> and, uh, and we get this thing started, no matter. It just has to get started. I mean, if you don't get it started, the milk's going to spoil. Then, then we got a flood, and uh, there was this uh, non-ganchu had water, was a drainage canal, but a rain and a flood, and it wasn't as big as the flood of 54, I guess, or 53 or 54. This time when I was in Xi'an, this guy named uh, Liu Mingsan, who I'd forgotten completely about, came to see us at the Nongchang Guanaju, and he says, do you remember? He says, I'm the guy who s swam across the river with a rope around my, <laughs> around my waist uh, that time when we had the flood in 1958. Very inventive. They got these cans of these big uh, oil drums, uh, four oil drums, and then they tied bedboards to the top of the oil drums. And then this kid, tied this rope around his, his waist and swam across the, the flooded uh, canal, or drainage ditch, or whatever you call it. This experience, I mean, conditions like that, no electricity, a flood, everything. If you didn't have the idea that everybody there was not going to let that milk spoil, you'd never have had that milk certainly would have spoiled. I mean, right here, the other day, we spoiled two days of milk. With no, you know, we've got all the equipment in the world. It's just because the water wasn't hot enough and the washing wasn't. But here, with no electricity, with the two stations far apart, with the, each one having to be done by horse cart, and and so this spirit of 1958 was uh, entirely spontaneous from all of the people who were working the milk, trying in all of their energy to make sure that the milk didn't spoil. The experience, everybody had their own experience in the Great Leap Forward, and, 
I can say, of course, some people had very bad experiences, but the experience I had was extreme, extremely positive, and one that I shall never forget.